Good morning. Here's Lillian. Um, I'm sorry there was no, I'm sorry that there was no vlog yesterday. I started doing one in the morning, and then later in the afternoon, I took an antihistamine, and I it zonked me out until tea time, and then I just had to cook the tea. And then I parceled up my orders ready to be to co collected today because I wanted to get them done. And by the time I'd finished that, I think it was a, nearly nine o'clock. And what I had, it weren't worth showing you, really. So we're going to start again today. Yes, yeah, so sorry about that. I've just had some crumpets and I've got several big jobs to do around the house today so I'm going to get those done and then my friend Peter is coming for a cup of tea and then I've got parcels being collected parcels being dropped off it's a day of deliveries and collections so I'm going to get them done get the jobs done and then wait for the collections, which will be lovely, because I'm just going to knit my cardigan today. I deserve a little bit of a break, so I'm going to have one. Right, Lillian, I've had my ten minute crumpet break. Time to get up and get on with the ironing. I'll see you in a little while. I'm very pleased. I've got a lot done. I've, um, I don't know why I'm whispering. I've done loads of ironing. I've stripped and remade my bed and Johnny's bed. I've hoovered and I'm just waiting for Peter to arrive. He's a bit late, but it's alright. I've already boiled the kettle. Oh, I haven't done the tea bags or coffee yet because he, he chops and changes what he likes. When I go round his, he gives me a special favour. Don't know why I can't get on like this normally. I've done loads. I've even done one of my jobs that I was saving for tomorrow. I am so excited. I've done all the jobs that I needed to do. The postman has been and collected my parcels. I'm just waiting for Parcel Force to come and collect another parcel and collect and drop off a Christmas present. But other than that, I haven't really got anything to do. So I'm doing something that I haven't done for ages. I've got the telly on. I've got a tin of mince pies. I've got some wool. I've got a special favourite. And I've got the remote control. And I've got a hot water bottle. And I'm just going to sit and dip all afternoon until about half past four. At which point I've got to get up and make... A one more project bag which is for a friend of James's who is giving it to someone for a secret Santa present and then I'm going to cook a fried breakfast but for tea and then that's my day I haven't done this in ages and I've been so looking forward to it Peter's been round we've had a cup of tea we've put the world to rights we've had a moan about other people had a talk about Christmas, what he's doing, what I'm doing, and then I'll see him again next week. Come on, Doug. Doug's here. He's been fed, so he's happy. Lillian's got a bone. She still needs to go out, but I can't take her yet until all this has been sorted out, all these parcels and things. But I'm going to have to move because this hot water bottle is getting hot against my back, so I'm going to have to move it to a different position. All I've got to do is just sit and wait for these parcels to be, this parcel to be collected and another one dropped off. I might actually ask Peter if I can keep it round his house. I might do that actually because I can't think where I'm going to put it once it's here. Right. I'll see. And I've got to turn the hall light off. I'm going to go and do that now. I'll see you in a little while. We're on a lovely winter walk. 
with Lillian. This dog, you never know which way she's going to swing. She either wants to walk two footsteps and go home, or she wants to walk miles. Today she wants to walk miles, which is good news for us. Well, is it? <laughs> it's good news for me. I wanted a bit of fresh air. It's a lovely day. This is the river that we normally run along. But not today. We're just walking. There's old James. You got some hand knit socks on there, James? That was one of the first pairs I ever made you. Look there. When they get relegated to work socks. Yes, look, they're all threadbare around the top. I made some, knitted the majority of those when I was drunk on a train with my work friends on Halloween. It's a lovely day. I like this sort of weather. Do you, James? Now, a little view for the grannies. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What we got here then, James? You're not telling people I'm an old busybody. You are. You report this sort of stuff. I drive over that one every day. Well, the buses drive over that one. Right, we'll make a note of that. What's the Ordnance Survey <laughs> grid reference? Hmm. We'll report that. We'll s I'll tell you what, we'll report it and we'll see how long it takes. It's a cliffhanger for you, isn't it? Everyone will love that. That'll keep them tuned in, James. <laughs> I'm having the best day ever. So we've just got in from a very chilly walk. James has had to go and save the day by picking up his niece from school, from his sister, for his sister, because her car has broken down. I've just thought I'd show you this shawl. My friend Sharon made it for me for my birthday. It is the, I think, Turkish Delight Shawl by Curious Handmade. It's such a lovely pattern. I think I've got it the wrong way round. Oh, I think we're walking past. Never mind, that's fine. But isn't it lovely? And I know that it's made with Lay Family Yarn, one of the Goose Eggs quilt sets that they've been doing this year. Isn't it lovely? I've been wearing it every time I've gone out since it arrived. Right, I'm going to have a lovely hot cup of coffee because I've got cold extremities and it's lovely. Isn't it nice when you go, go back in a warm house after you've been on a cold walk? Lillian, we need to take your jumper off, don't we? So I'm going to go and put the kettle on and I'm going to do some more knitting. I'm having the best day ever. I really am. I haven't done this for ages and it's so lovely. Right. They're very brave now. They're out all the time. And they've started to weak every time they hear me open the fridge. They've slotted right back into their indoor guinea pig routine. Haven't you girls? You nestled in a pile of living fabric. Can you believe it? First day of being off and I've made a project bag for my friend's um, secret Santa present for someone who knits a little project bag. So if you work in a bank in my neck of the woods, this could be your secret Santa present this year. But I've got to put some sausages in the oven. You're nestled. Have I told you where you're nestled? I think I have, haven't I? Right, I'm off. I just thought I'd show you how I've got getting on with the cardigan. I've finished the first front today, and I've finished the other. No, I finished our sleeve the other day, and so I've just got one sleeve and one um, front to go. I don't know if it'll be done before Christmas. I don't know, we'll see. I sounded like Nessa then. Don't know, we'll see. From uh, Gavin and Stacey. We'll see if it's done, I don't know. It's nice though, isn't it? I need to block it. Have I said that already? Look at my blanket. Isn't it beautiful? I've got two more bits of the 
brown at the top to go two more of this well of the next color up from that to go in to finish that section and then I'll start the next section and can you believe what happened yesterday because I couldn't when I woke up from my um, antihistamine induced sleep there was a parcel waiting for me and it was this I could not believe it these were sent to me by Sophie from Pixie Yarn and it's as a present and these are the next two packs of the club that she's been running this year so that I can finish off my blanket what a treat and what a lovely lovely thing to do they're beautiful aren't they so this will be the pack that I use next and then it will be this one and I think this set here is my favourite out of the sets that we've had I just love it yeah I couldn't believe it I've re I'm itching to get going but I've got to finish that cardigan and then I can this is an incentive isn't it to get it done oh blimey all the animals looking at me beautiful 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 what a treat if you want to know more about that blanket have I told you this already it's called the cozy stripe blanket by attic 24 I talk about it I think just about in every single one of my podcasts that I've filmed this year I'm gonna go now I've got a very exciting day tomorrow well we've got an exciting day haven't we Lizzie yes. it's Lizzie's last day at school and she gets to finish early so we're going to meet in our favorite cafe and we're going to have cake and hot chocolate for dinner because <laughs> it's christmas and we can do what we want can't we yes. i can't wait yeah. so that will be lovely who are you looking forward to it as well it's exciting and we can sing driving home for christmas Oh, I can't wait to see those faces. And James is off tomorrow as well, so we will be trying a Father Christmas for you tomorrow, definitely. Lillian's looking at me because she's waiting for a cuddle, or it might be about the sausage that I know that's on the side in the kitchen for her. I bet Daddy hasn't given it to you. Right, I'm off. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Goodbye. I forgot to say something. I've got my shawl back on because I'm... Settled for the night now. My hot water bottle, coffee, dug the lot, knitting, telly. Um, thank you to anybody, all the people who bought one of my bags yesterday. I will definitely make more of them in the new year. I had a few messages from people who said that they wanted one and missed out. Um, so I'll make more in the new year. All different ones. Cats, bears, pandas. And I'll try some different things as well. I'd like to try some different coloured cats, like some Ian ones, like black and white. And I think someone's asked for a ginger, so that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Some different coloured cats with different markings on their faces. Um... Yeah, I wish I could make more, but I can't at the minute. It's just me in my little corner of my uh, kitchen. It's not even a corner. It's a very narrow cubby hole. And I made as many as I possibly could. But I just need a little bit of a break because I've got to start getting ready for the East Anglian Yarn Festival which is in March. Oh, blimey, so that won't be very far away by the time Christmas is over. So I'll be working my socks off for that and to keep my shop filled up as well. So just need a little bit of a break and then I'll make some more. So I'm sorry to the people who missed out, but there will be more. Right. Good night, everybody. Over and out.